Hey, what's up everybody? Jake here and welcome to The Hobby. We're going to be rounding out some upcoming Pokemon card products that are going to be releasing in the next couple of months just to see what you guys might be interested in. There's actually some pretty cool products on this list and some products that I think will probably be on clearance sale in the next couple of months once people no longer really want these products or desire them going forward. So let's check out some of the products that are going to be releasing soon. First up, we have the Heavy Hitters Premium Collection with 14 Pokemon card booster pack, as well as four promotional-ish cards inside, which are the Lucario B and Tyranitar B cards that you can pull from just normal sets. There's actually no official exclusive promo cards inside of this box. I don't know why they're releasing this box. Did they just have extra products lying around? Who knows? We don't have an understanding on what the price on this box is going to be. Considering that it has 14 booster packs, I imagine it's probably going to go for around $60 to $80, which no matter how much it goes for is going to be too expensive because all you're really getting here is a bunch of booster packs. There are no exclusive promo cards unless you count the jumbo card as a promo card, which I really wouldn't. So there's really nothing exclusive here. It's a cool box, nice display piece. So we'll just have to see how it goes for, but this is one of those clearance products that I think is gonna go on fire sale near the holidays when people just aren't picking them up as they were in prior years. Next up, we have the Infern Ape V box, which is gonna be releasing on September 9th. It's gonna be a $20 V box, very generic, but you do get an exclusive card, which is the Infernape V promo card with just four random booster packs. A lot of people don't really pay much attention to these, but they do climb in value long term. If I look historically at products like the Snorlax GX box or even older, like the Gengar EX box, these random four booster pack, one promo card with a jumbo card inside actually go for a pretty decent value after a couple of years, the Snorlax GX box and the Gengar EX box go for around $80 to $100. Uh, so they do climb in value overall. But next up, we got what is probably the item that I'm the most excited for. And on September 1st, we have the Pokemon TCG Advent Calendar. We haven't had an Advent Calendar in the Pokemon TCG in a very long time. They have released some of them in the past, but this one is the first one in quite a while and I'm pretty excited for it. It's gonna contain only six booster packs inside with eight foil promo card, and there's going to be a new product for you to pull out of the advent calendar every single day from December 1st all the way till December 25th, it's releasing on September 1st, and the idea behind that is to get, really give you guys time to pick up this product for December, of course. If you pick it up on September 1st, you can crack it open right away and see every single card inside. I would like it to be a little bit of a mystery. They're releasing it so early that you're gonna know every single promo card inside. The eight foil promo cards inside do feature a festive stamp, so a holiday stamp. But from what I understand, they're not gonna be holiday related cards. They're just gonna be normal Pokemon cards with the addition of the holiday stamps on them. What would be really cool if we were to get some really nice exclusive alt art cards like the Warm Pikachu that were released in Japan right around the holiday season a couple of years ago. Those Warm Pikachu cards are going for literal thousands of dollars nowadays and I think they look super cool so I would really like something like that inside of this advent calendar but whatever this advent calendar is I can tell you it's not as exciting as it sounds I'm going to assume that these promo cards are going to be a little bit more on the generic end I'm thinking something kind of like the McDonald's promo where it's just a normal Pokemon card like a normal common Charizard card with the addition of the McDonald's stamp or something of that nature. Maybe a different hollow foil pattern, but nothing really out there. Outside of that, we also have Lost Origin, which is gonna be releasing in September as well. This is our next expansion set, and it does contain some really cool cards. Some of the chase cards inside of it will most likely be the Alt Art Giratina. We also have an Alt Art Aerodactyl, and an alt art Meowth. So there are some really cool cards inside. And if you're a full art trainer collector, once again, you're in huge luck. 
because the full art cards just continue to really do really well and they all look fantastic and Lost Origin is no exception. There's going to be a ton of really nice full art trainer cards inside of it as well as some must-have alt art. The big one is going to be that Giratina for sure. Overall, I'm pretty excited for the next couple of months. It looks like you're going to have a lot of options when it comes to what to pick up. It's not going to be like prior years where you're going to be lucky to find an Infernape V box on store shelf. There's going to be items on here that I'm fairly confident will not sell out, which means they will most likely go on sale <laughs> once the holiday kicks around, which I'm excited for when it comes to uh, Black Friday and those holiday deals. Pokemon trading cards are actually one of the items that are the most commonly uh, discounted. So I'm really excited to bargain hunt and just see what I can really gather up because after the holiday season, there does tend to be a little bit of a spike when it comes to trading card products. So that's pretty much it for today's video. We accounted for some of the new upcoming items that are gonna be released soon. There will be a holiday set this year and there will be another ultra premium collection. They've been doing these ultra premium collection for prior years. Uh, we saw one for uh, 2020 and we saw one for 2021, which was the Celebrations ultra premium collection, which is going for $300 nowadays. So I'm gonna be excited to let you guys know right away as, as soon as we know a little bit more on this ultra premium collection. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know what your guys' thoughts are. Are you excited for this upcoming holiday? Because we will get a special set and it looks like we might get a second special set going into spring of 2023 kind of like shining fates so that'll be exciting as well thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys next time